Hey all, welcome back. Today I will be making a request video that was put to me on my channel's discussion page. Emar Amori wanted to know how to make randomized wind. So, I thought uh, that'd be pretty interesting to make, and it was, uh, it was a little bit of fun. So, let's uh, get into it. I want to put my flag up here, and we'll uh, jump in and have a look. And I've just got the, the wind all set to zero at the moment, as I was, uh, I was playing with this earlier. But there is now nothing to it. If we click it here, go to details, everything's just set to the, to the default values. And I noticed that you can't make a blueprint actor with the wind direction component in it, but we can use the level blueprint. So at the top, go to blueprints, then open level blueprint, and we get here. This is just a, a blueprint for the, for the level itself. And this way we can access the wind direction component from within here. So I just tore that off, go to the world outliner, and drag in your wind direction source, and you'll get this component node here, which we can pull stuff off and uh, make things happen. So uh, let's make a bunch of functions because you want to avoid using the event tick as much as possible. So we'll make a function here. We'll start with wind speed. And we'll also get our, our little node here and dump it in. So we'll drag off from this blue node here and we can get the component, the component variables from our, our wind component. In this case, because it's wind speed, we'll just get set speed. We'll hook this up and we want a new speed and because the key to this video is random numbers, right click on the graph and find a random float in range. Set this to something like, well, any values you want. I use 0 0.25 and three, just for some stronger sort of, sort of results. And this is the, the basic functionality that we'll be using for the other functions. So now we've got wind speed. We'll get another one called wind strength. Let's paste that in, but we don't need this node. What we want is the set strength set strength of the wind direction component and we'll plug that in and for this one we'll set our values to let's say 0 0.5 and 4 all right and that sets up our our uh, wind strength so make another function this one's the wind direction just like that paste this in as well but this time we don't need uh, the component node here we can delete that and we'll delete this all we need to do is just set the actor's rotation. Set actor rotation. And we'll uh, right click here, we'll split this struct pin so we get the, the float values for each one because we don't want the wind to rotate, you know, up or down. We only want it to spin to, to rotate on its, on its Z axis. So we'll hook this up. And uh, as for this, so the, the, the range of rotation in Unreal Engine goes from, uh, well, 0 to 180, and then in the other direction, 0 to minus 180. So if we go for values between 180 and minus 180, we'll get that full range of rotation. So that's all done. We'll go back to our event graph, and we'll get the begin play node. And then we just set timer by function name. Set timer by function name. And we'll need a few of these. So we'll just... Uh, Start with wind speed, needs to loop, and we'll set the time, let's say, we'll change the speed every second. Duplicate that, plug it in, this one will be wind strength, and we'll change that one every, let's say, two seconds. And then a third one, plug it in, this is our wind direction which will change, let's say, every three seconds. So we have different values for each of these. This will just add to the, the random sort of nature of, of the effect that we're trying to make. And from here, we can just go back to our editor, hit play, and we can see the effect as it happens, presumably. Okay, so I goofed a little bit. Uh, I've got spaces in my, in my names. Make sure the function names actually match what, you, what you've made here on, the, like here on the right. So save that, go back to the editor, hit play, and here we go. We have random wind. So this is uh, this is this is pretty much it. This is how to make randomized wind in Unreal Engine. But there is something else that I wanted to talk about because uh, for the minute, like it's changing direction, like in a snap, like in one single frame. See, it sort of kicks around like that. Not very realistic. Uh, but we can smooth that out with a few different ways. For one, if we go back to our wind direction function, we can just change these values to be more narrow. So if you this this will give us the full three hundred and sixty degrees of rotation. But if you only want say 45 degrees of rotation. You can just adjust that, adjust these figures to be to be closer together. But there is another way that we can do it. 
And uh, the way I did it, I did use the, the tick for this. So if, uh, if you have nothing else working on the tick and the level, you can do this. But uh, I would recommend just using the, the function and, you know, adjusting your values in the direction. But if you do want like uh, a full 360 degrees of rotation for your flag, and you don't, uh, you don't want it to be snapping around in that, in that weird looking way, uh, here's something that you can do. So grab your, grab your wind direction component here, paste that in. We'll get the same set actor rotation node. What am I doing? Set, come up here, set actor, set actor rotation. Very cool. We'll uh, right click this, split it like before. Let's plug this in. And we'll come from the, uh, our wind direction source here. Let's get the actor rotation. Just like that, and we'll split this. Make myself some space, and we'll also get a random float in range, just like before. And same as before, we'll go from one, 180 to minus 180, or we'll go the other way around. We'll actually observe the, the minimum maximum rules. So minus 180 to 180, and we'll get a, a reinterpolation node. So this will take in two values, and it will uh, it'll go from, from the current to the target, in a in this interpolation speed here sort of similar to how i did in the in the resident evil camera video but uh in this case with the rotation of a, of a wind direction component well i'll split our return value too because we only want the z value so we'll get uh plug in our return z value from the active rotation into the current z value and we'll get our random float into the target z value plug in the delta seconds from your event tick into the delta time and set your interpolation speed to say Two, two seconds to, to reinterpolate. Plug in the return Z value into the active rotation. And we'll disconnect this function because we don't really need it at the moment. But then come off the active rotation with a delay. And we'll delay something like three seconds. So that the, uh, th so this will only fire once every three seconds, or rather it'll, it'll go through, wait for three, come back and do it again. And it'll have this uh, two seconds of interpolate time in order to, to readjust to its new angle. So we'll compile that, hit save, come back to the editor, and let's have a look, let's have a bit of a looky. So now every few seconds, it's going to change its direction and do it in a, in a slow, sort of smooth kind of way. Unless the values are huge, I guess. In which case it'll be a little bit quicker. But here we have it, randomized wind. Where we get uh, random values, and you make these as radical or as subtle as you like. And if you use the, just the functions for it, it's very low cost. I mean, uh, the begin play will just fire the one time when it loads, and then just just let it tick on. Whereas the event ticks a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more intensive. It's uh, oddly hypnotic. <laughs> so I'd like to thank Amor, Am Amori for the uh, for the request. If anyone has anything else they'd like to see or anything they'd like me to make, feel free to drop me a line. I'm most active on Discord. I sort of lurk there all the time. So that'll be the, the easiest way to get in contact with me. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.